Hi everyone. Uh, today we have an artist reception with this wonderful artist, Seema Varma, local artist um, and writer. Um, so we'll have a little chat. Yeah, See? we'll have a short Q&A. Okay. All right. Hi, Seema. Hi, uh, hi Lynn. Hi, Ray. Um, it's oh, a pleasure yes. working with you guys. Uh, it's a great opportunity. My name is Seema Varma. I'm a local artist and uh, I've been painting and writing for almost 10 years now. And this is my second uh, career because I was an IT professional before and uh, life happened and I found myself really, really enjoying what I'm doing now. Okay, so um, I have a few questions for you sure. and thank you for being here today. Um, we see a lot of your beautiful paintings and prints here. Thank you. Um, I was wondering, you said you've been painting for 10 years? And I was wondering what, so what are your, some of your favorite subject matter and what materials do you like to work with? Sure, um, so nature is what inspires me, the colors that I see and when I go on a walk or when I go on a hike, I really get inspired by the colors that I see around. And the easiest and the most things that I've found painting are flowers. So you have to stop, I have to really stop myself from painting flowers over and over again to you know, give a nice mix of different subjects that I have. But I do also love to paint birds and animals and uh, the, the women, women as such in the different attires, especially from India, because uh, I think there's a lot of color and personality in it. And what materials I use, this is mostly using acrylics on canvas. I also use paper sometimes and um, I use a lot of texture and a nice finish so a lot of people have said that the acrylics remind them of oil actually but these are not oil these are really mm. acrylics mm. yeah the colors are very bright thank you um, okay and then my other question was how often do you work on your artwork so um, I don't have a fixed schedule per se so sometimes I'll paint two to three times a week mm -hmm. and that's like on a new painting uh, and it can take almost a uh, good five hours that I will just go about painting it. And also there's other work associated with the painting. So there is, you know, a varnish that has to be done after these dry up for about seven to ten days. The framing uh, has to happen, which my wonderful husband helps with. But um, there's also prints, there's also posting them on the website. And so um, there's a lot of other work that happens around it. Mm -hmm. But just pure painting is something I really enjoy and it's very meditative. Mm -hmm. I've also seen that when I'm in that state, I can manifest things very fast. Wow. So if I'm like looking for something for myself and my children, I should better go pick up that brush and paint something. Interesting. And it actually works, yeah. Wow, that's, that's really interesting, that. yeah. Okay so, okay, so maybe my last question is, I also see that you have some books here that you've written and um, I know you also do some video work. So yes. do you want to tell people about other kinds of creative work? Definitely. So mm -hmm. like I said, life happens mm -hmm. <laughs> and life happened for me and that was spiritual awakening in a way and I was looking for answers to certain things that I was encountering. So I'm a business analyst by profession. So that whole field is where you try to figure out things from different aspects and try to give a solution to something. So in this case too, as I was faced with different issues in life, I started to research and try to find solutions to different things. And what came out of it were question answer form. Okay, this is the question. This is how I addressed it. This is how I went about in my life. And this is how one would solve it. So what happened in the process is I started to get this questionnaire kind of a thing and I started to put it together on social media. That became books. Those are the videos that I'm even making now. So somebody doesn't have to go through the entire process of trying to figure out the solution. I'm actually giving them the solution in the book. And these are self-published books. The books actually led to the paintings, believe it or not. It was the cover page of my first book that, that led to the paintings because nothing, oh, interesting. nothing would actually meet my requirement. And one thing just led to the other exhibitions, workshop, and that's where I am today. Wow, so you started writing before you, and, and then it, wow. I used to take pictures, photographs, and use those in the social media post. And then when the book came, I, this was my first The first one? Okay. Yeah, so I didn't really 
like anything. And I had to put like a picture in here. And I thought, why don't I paint it? And believe it or not, that was my first painting on canvas. Right? Oh, beautiful. And, wow. And this is where it started. And I have an entire gallery in my basement. And so much more art. Wow, wow. Okay, thank you. And do you have a, well, do you have a favorite book out of the ones you... I think I love them yeah. all. Okay. Uh, but uh, this is something really nice. Mm -hmm. um, you can pick one and see if you get the answers for a certain thing that you're looking for. And that's how, you know, that's where it will lead you. Okay. And uh, if you feel attracted to something, go, go read the index and then pick it up. Okay. Great. So is there anything else that you can, did you think about to want to tell people? Sure. So I am also a Reiki practitioner. I am certified level one and two. So Reiki is basically unconditional love. And if there are blockages, it removes the blockages in the energy. So the flow can happen and leads you to more health and peace and calm in your life. And uh, so I do infuse that energy in, in my work. So definitely the paintings, if you put in your room you will see that the energy changes in that room mm -hmm. i also compose poetry in my native language which is hindi i, I write a lot of poetry it's on soundcloud so i've done a bunch of things uh, i think a creative outlet is very important because there are certain things that we cannot express when we talk to someone there's a lot of hidden emotion that stays and if we can transmute it into something beautiful these this is what comes out and i've been very fortunate for being able to do that okay wonderful thank you so much so um thank you for all the people who joined us online if you want to see more of Seema's work, this is her website and contact info. You can follow her Instagram. And if you're in town, you can stop by. There's some snacks, free pens made by Seema, more books, and um, a lot of really great artwork on the walls and really um, good uh, price points, too. So check out the counter. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks. Here we go. How do I stop this? Okay.